So Megascans have just released a pack for the Unreal Marketplace to use trees in Unreal Engine. Now we're going to take a look at this video, how to, you can get these assets into your project and what it comes inside it. The first thing you need to do is to go to the Unreal Marketplace and look for the trees for Quixel Megascans. I put a link in the description so you can get there faster. But here, what you need to do is just to download it or open it in the launcher if you're using the website. And once you do that, you're ready to go. Now that we have the package inside Unreal, let's take a look at what's inside. Here we have our geometry and we have two folders, the Pivot, Painter and the Simple Wind. If you open the maps, the asset zoo, you will see that we have the Pivot, Painter, Wind and the Simple Wind. And basically, these are the same trees, but the difference is that the Pivot Painter has a much more realistic result. When the tree comes, you can see that the leaves are moving much more realistic. Compared to the Simple Wind, they will all just move in one direction. So depending if you want to have like a more realistic shot, then you can use these trees. Or if the trees are not so important for your scene, you can just put them in the background and this will do for the distance. Another important asset that will come with your package is the BP Global Foliage Actor. And this very cute gizmo is actually found here in the Megascans presets for the Megascans Foliage material. Inside of here you will see the blueprint. And what this blueprint does is to con basically control all the trees that are in your scene with just some parameters here. For example, I can grab some of these trees, for example, this one. Okay. And instead of changing these trees properties, I can use the global foliage actor to, for example, increase the wind strength, something like 50, it will turn super crazy, or 25 or something like that. I can also increase the speed or decrease it or change the tiling it will just have much different results. So another thing you can do is to update the directional light. Of course, you can choose the directional light in your scene. And of course, the season strength, which we will take a look at for the materials. But one of the most fun, funniest parameters I find is the health. You can decrease the health of your trees, for example, like this. And this will decrease but notice that all the trees are decreasing at the same time just like this right okay change the parameters and all of them will change at the same time now let's take a look at the parameters of our tree if i click on this one you will see i have different elements so let's take a look at the first one which is the trunk trunk here i will move this one a little bit and make it bigger it's bas basically the details of the trunk that you have from the bottom for example i can change the brightness of this to make it whiter or darker if i want and usually like having a darker look will help your scene to make it look a little bit better you can change of course the lit mode if you want it lit or unlit it's up to you if you want to see the shadow or not you can change the specular something like 0.5 to have more glossiness there or you can actually try to reduce the roughness something like zero so it's like wet or something if you have a lot of uh, rainforest or something like that it can be a, uh, really nice you can also change the normal strength to example something like 5 50 something like very very aggressive and basically, you can decorate this part to change it a little bit so that you have a part that it's a little bit more detailed compared to the top because usually the player will be able to see this one. And it's nice to have the controls for the trunk of the tree. So the next part of our material is the tileable texture, which is basically the rest of the trunk. So if I open it, you will see very similar options. You can change the saturation, for example, change it like tree or something like that to change the color of the trunk. Or you can change the brightness to make it brighter. 
you can have control over a lot of things that have with the color and also you can change the lead mode to be unlit or lit if you want it you can also change the normal strength which is also the strength of the overall look of the tree for example something like five you let's leave it at 1.5 but this will also have the bark detail amount like if i really zoom in you will see that as i increase this you will have the detail amount it's getting much more sharper here and of course it will increase the detail right so very similar to the bottom bark uh, but this one has a little bit of different control for this part since most players won't be able to see it from distance so now let's take a look at the leaf material let's open this and you will see I have different options compared to the bark, of course, because I'm using leaf and it's a translucent material. So what I can do here is basically change the colors, for example, the saturation, something like five, if you want it. Another thing you can do that is very nice is the seasons. For example, I can put winter here and I will automatically have my tree on the winter season or i can uncheck this i can also play with the translucency if i go here i can change entirely the look of my tree only you can see on the top i have the green leaf and on the bottom i have the purple one and i can change the color to any color i want if if i wanted to another thing you can do is to change the wind we saw that we have the global wind actor, but we can actually change individual noises for each tree. For example, we can change the noise for like something like 15, so you notice. And now the noise will be much higher on this one, but in what affect the rest of the trees. Only the ones that are using this material, uh, some of them will do, but some of them won't. And of course, you have the advanced settings for the winds if you want to be very picky. To be honest, the default settings work fairly good. So I will just leave them as they are. Now we have the decorator. If we check here, we have a material for decoration. And what exactly is is small bumps in the tree that make it look more real. So if I open the material here, you will see I have very similar controls. And in order to show you the bumps, I will increase the brightness here to something like 50. And you will see that I have the bumps here in my tree all over the place. This, of course, can increase the realistic look of your tree. It's very nice to have. And it's very nice to have the control of each bump here. So you can have small little variations in your tree. The last thing we're going to take a look at is the impostors. You can see I have a material from the imposter. And basically what this is, is a flip book. So I can have the tree rotated in different angles. So that when I'm far from the tree here, I don't load all the data. So I can check here my LOD and go on 6. And here you will see I'm using only 6 triangles. I can of course go to 5 and this will be much higher. But the imposter works on LOD 6. And as I rotate the camera, you will see that the tree is also rotating so that it looks even better. But from distance, this works all right. So you don't need to worry about the performance. The trees are super heavy. If I get really close, can get like 400,000 triangles. But if I'm far enough, I can get to 8. So don't need to worry about it. Now that you know the basics of how do you modify the trees, then now the fun parts come. You just need to go to the foliage, and here you can drag the trees you want to paint. For example, like this one. I can change the density to some, something like 5, and I can change the randomness to 0 0.7 and 1.5. And then when I paint, I will have a lot of trees here. If the density is too big, you can erase by holding shift. And you can change it from something like 0 0.6. And, and then you can keep painting 
your trees. You can keep playing with the settings until you have something you like. For example, I can uncheck this and then I can check this tree and then I can keep painting this to create my own forest very easy. And I can keep painting here or in any other place or I can erase with shift if I don't want and keep painting until I have something I will like. And then I can play with the with the sand and I can play with the wind settings and it's really cool to have these assets in your Unreal projects. Another cool trick you can use, and not related to the trees, but you can play with a light source here to the, your directional light, and then go to light shafts and click on light shaft occlusion and light shaft bloom. And now if I rotate the light here with Control L, you will see that I'm creating a cut ray here. Extremely nice. That works well with the forest. Thanks a lot for watching. And remember that if you want to learn more, make sure to check our website to have some free courses such as Introduction to Blueprints and a lot of cool packages. And remember to subscribe.